All right, if you're a beginner in cube defense, you're gonna wanna know what the best towers in the game for a beginner. Now today, this video is going to explain which towers should you use as a beginner, and most of it is based off of my opinion, but we'll go from there. So we have a large selection of towers, a large selection, okay? So when you're a beginner, you will not have the coins to purchase anything nice. But I am going to show you what, in my opinion, are the best towers to get you start off and also gives you some pointers and tips on how to get better at cube defense when you're just starting out. All right, so the starting towers that you get is the plasma tower and the light turret. Now, these towers are good for the beginning. Ignore my skin, I'm sorry, I have this one. But these towers are good for the beginning. Right here, you max upgrade this. It does not get metal sight, but it does get shadow sight. Now, I recommend that you go with at least another person in easy mode to start off, because that's all you can do. You can only do easy mode, but I recommend going with another person. These two towers are what you'll get at the max. And this is good, and this is good. They're good at the beginning, but they will not be carrying you very long. Here are some examples of some good attacking towers. For a long-range tower, the bubble tower is very good. Now, this is the base form, and as you can already see, this has massive range. Okay, this has massive range. And... It gets, um, now the damage isn't that good and the fire frequency isn't, but if you're looking for like that tower that you need to get high damage and a good range, this is a really good tower. It gets shadow sight, which means, which is good, but it does not see metal, so you'll have to think about other things. But this is a very good tower that can give you a good radius. It is very cheap, only 500 coins, play easy mode like I think like maybe like two times and you can afford this tower. It is very good for long range. It does a good amount of damage. Nice. Uh, and yeah, this is just an all around really good tower. Um, and the next tower I'm gonna talk about is the C battery. The C battery is a water only tower, but it does all, it has a really good fire frequency and damage. It does good damage with a very low fire frequency, and it is a very good for getting the damage in the water areas if you, you know, don't have that much area to war like, you know, land area. You definitely want to use the sea battery because it is very good on water. You can put a campfire, which is the next thing I'm going to talk about. The campfire here is the best support, like a really good support tower. Really good. Now, at its first stage, all it does is upgrade range, but as you go along, it upgrades mi it minuses the cost, you get Shadow Sight. Shadow Sight is the cubes that are right... Where are they? Um... Alright, this is mostly uh, Chaos Mode stuff, but uh... For instance, I don't think there's that many Shadow Cubes on, um on um, easy mode but shadow cubes are really hard and if you're not prepared for it you are not going to do well at all like you're not going to do well yeah these are all chaos mode i probably should have done easy mode but this it upgrades it helps your tower and at the max it gives you 10 like if you lose health you can gain it back every wave, shadow sight, minus 10 cost, and then plus 25% range. It pairs very really well with towers that have metal sight, but don't have shadow sight. But it's also good even if they have both, because like increasing the range and minusing the upgrade cost is always a big help. Next, the, the last support tower we're going to talk about is the factory. The factory is a good tower for making money. If you want to make money, you want to be using this. You can put down six of these per match. I should, probably should have uh, explained some of the other ones, but you put down six of these per match and they're uh, really good. You unlock them at level six. 
Uh, a very good. Uh, the sea battery, you unlock uh, level three. I'm pretty sure the campfire, uh, no, level three campfire and steel battery, I don't remember, but you can check out the shop. But these you unlock at level six, and right here, the first only gives you 50, 100 is the next, 200, 350, and 750. Now, these aren't as helpful for the lower towers, towers, but once you start getting, like, some more expensive towers, they start to really, um, you know, increase your profit rate, and... When you want to, like, let's say go on medium mode is when you want to start probably using it. Because you need to make money, and you need to make money fast, because you want to upgrade your towers. Because there's going to be stronger cubes, stronger things, and if you're not ready, like, for instance, there is the, on the final boss, on easy mode, is the Rubik's. If you are not prepared for this on easy mode, at the end, you are not going to win at all. You are going to lose... And it is not going to be a good time. See? And the boss can also disable stuff. So you got to be prepared when the boss comes. So you want to make money. want to have the most amount of towers as you possibly can have. There is a limit on every single um, mode. Um, the higher up the mode is, the more it is going to um, affect how many towers you can place. But yeah, the factory is a very important tower. Even late in the game. Even... The level I am at. Right now I'm level 39. Like, even level 100s even use this tower. It is a good tower. You are going to keep it pretty much as soon as you can unlock it. You are going to keep it the entire time. And the final tower that we're going to talk about, this is the most expensive one. They just updated it today. Jeez. Oh. But this is the mortar. Now, it used to look a lot different. I don't know what the frick they did to it. But the mortar, um... As you can see, the fire frequency um, is slow, but it does good damage, and it can hit metal. And as you upgrade it, it gets... Oh, well, I guess it never... Okay. As you upgrade it, it gets better, and then it gets triple power. And a each shot, and this isn't just per... Ev like, all the shots. Every single shot you fire is that much damage now this is an expensive tower they changed it a lot it used to be a lot cheaper um but looks like they majorly upgraded it and as you can see here 30 damage each single shot man is it expensive and multiple of these towers are always good like these are good towers to have you want to have it like as you can see, it fires every single shot that happens. Does 30 damage. Like, 30 damage. And that is amazing damage. Now, it was a lot cheaper. I don't know if it's going to be as viable now. But before the um, update, you can probably check one of my previous videos. It should be my most recent one. The, the, the Mortar is a good basic tower. It does damage... And it is good. Like, it, you unlock it at a high level. But once you get to that level, you will be doing medium mode. And medium mode is no joke. I recommend, though, as you're starting out, to always do it with another person. Because doing it solo is never going to work. You are always going to lose, and you're not going to make enough money at all. So that's why you're going to want to do that. I hope this helps you in your cube defense journey and i will see you in the next video